Judy, the store supervisor says by the time he got to that young boy yesterday afternoon, he was clearly overcome by the heat. He said it looked as though the mother tried to leave some room for air circulation in the car, but whatever it was, wasn't enough. Tuesday afternoon, a frantic cart collector at the Fresh Farms grocery store alerted his supervisor he'd spotted a small child inside a parked car. The air was 94 degrees. The windows were wide enough to for my arm to reach the, the lock and unlock the car. Stephen Tran says the child didn't move. And at this point, he was passed out. He was drenched in his own sweat. So I unbuckled the seatbelt, I picked him up and just ran back inside. Firefighters estimate the inside of the car was as hot as 110 degrees. He was heavy. Um, he was like drenched in his own sweat. I was just holding on, make sure no car hits me because I was just sprinting all the way back. Were you worried he was unconscious? Oh yeah, definitely. Police and firefighters have no idea how long the two-year-old boy was stuck inside the sweltering car. But after they showed up, they say it took another 20 minutes to find his 24-year-old mother, Asel Ukbavea. For her to say, oh, I just wanted to get some quick groceries, she came out with bags of groceries, so it wasn't just, you know, a single item. It wasn't in and out. That shopping trip, police say, nearly cost her young son his life. Tonight, police say that little boy is okay. His mother has bonded out of jail on a single count of child endangerment, but police are hoping this serves as a stark reminder to parents not to ever leave a child inside a car. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.